Good afternoon everyone and welcome to this week's update. Well, what a week it's been. It's, uh, I can hardly think it's only been a week left since um, we had those two weeks holiday. And um, first of all, I just want to say thank you to all of the staff involved in everything that they've done at the Halifax Academy this week in both phases, primary and secondary. It's been quite an incredible um, experience to have seen the committed staff that are there supporting children, delivering food parcels, making sure they've got laptops, supporting on the phone, safeguarding meetings, wellbeing meetings, basically counselling services. It's been quite incredible to see the staff at the Halifax Academy do so much for your for your children, your families. And, and I know that you'll join, join me in saying thank you to all of them. Obviously, we've had to spin very quickly to get remote learning in place at both primary and secondary, and it's been quite incredible to see the quality of live lessons, of video lessons, both in primary and secondary, and well done to all the year sixes who have joined in um, all of the lessons down there, and the live lessons down there, and the live lessons that have gone across the school at, at secondary, the recording that has gone on in school where staff have been recording information, all of the uploading of resources. It has been quite incredible week. We've also had this week then the announcement from the government that the GCSEs have been um, axed, have been cancelled and Key Stage 2 SATs and Key Stage 1 SATs have been cancelled. We're yet to find out what is going to replace those and obviously this may be a concerning and a worrying time for many students but please be rest assured we will keep you in the loop of everything that's happening and please trust us when we say we'll make sure that we do the right thing for you and your children. Staff are working incredibly hard to make sure that the quality of education your kids get is amazing and it always will be. Please be patient where it might go wrong. Sometimes we might have technological glitches and things might not get uploaded or lessons might not go ahead in the way we planned. But please just, just be patient and just be kind and giving with us um, as we are with you and the way we have been through all of this. Um, live lessons will go on during the week um, as and when is appropriate for the lessons and for the learning of children. Um, and so resources will always be up there for your lessons. If you've got any concerns, please contact your class teacher or your progress leader and, and we'll make sure that we uh, sort that out. But, you know, you'll have high quality lessons on, you can, on, 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 um, uh, on Teams, Microsoft Teams. And the approach we're trying to take is not everything will be live lessons because that means that a student needs to be on the computer all the time. And obviously for those families who have got more than two children, more than one child, sorry, two or three children at home, that can be a, a challenge on technology. So it will be a blend of work they can do in an exercise book or a textbook, then um, work they can do online, then live lessons recorded. That's why that's the approach we're taking both at primary and secondary. So we appreciate all the patience and the support you've given us. Um, as far as uh, the COVID rates are going, obviously we're testing all children who come into school for key worker provision and please only send your children in if you can't provide for them at home um, and we'll support any way we can. Um, and staff are getting regularly tested as well in school, but the COVID rates are rising rapidly in the community. We're over 600 now in the local community, so we must make sure that we're keeping safe, following the social distancing, all of the regimes and all of the routines. It feels very much to me as though this lockdown isn't as tight as maybe the first lockdown. And to get children back to school, which is what we all desperately want, we need to make sure that we're following it as tightly and as closely as possible. So again, any support with that will be brilliant. So that's it from me. Um, we'll be in contact as and when we know about the exams. Please be rest assured that we'll make sure that children are, are looked after. Please reassure them if you've got any concerns and contact your progress leader. And I will speak to you again next week. Look after yourselves, take care and I'll see you soon. Thank you.